45 bike is the newest product offering in the moped style e-bike segment that has been developed by a manufacturer from India. The minimalist design of this model resembles other vehicles in this class and comes down to bare essentials. A lightweight tubular frame, a mid-mounted electric motor, an ergonomic seat, a battery pack, and wide 4-inch tires to soften your ride over uneven terrains. The brushless DC motor has the output rated at 250 watts and is capable of producing the peak torque of around 60 foot-pounds. The rack-mounted battery has a 550 watt-hour capacity and is suitable for electrifying your ride for up to 40 miles at speeds not exceeding 50 miles per hour. The battery pack is removable for your recharging convenience and full charge can be restored in less than three hours. Designed to prove that e-bikes can be fun, powerful and affordable, Aerial Rider X-Class is a feature-rich model with moto styling and below average starting price. To perform well off-road, it is equipped with dual suspension kit and consists of motorbike-grade heavy-duty fork and a K-speed rear shock. The X-Class also gets a set of high-performance 20-inch fat tires, while the stopping power is provided by Tektro hydraulic brakes. The bike is juiced by a 768-watt-hour pack, good for 50 to 65 miles of range, and its 750-watt hub motor has a special high-amp controller, which can double the supplied power when needed. In 2021, the company is adding another version of the X-Class, boasting of a 1,000-watt motor and a large battery. The California-based Hemiway has managed to deliver a product that bends the rules of the segment, as their moped-style electric bike is powerful, generously equipped, and quite affordable at the same time. The Escape features a standard dual suspension system, guaranteeing that any bumps in the road are smoothly absorbed. It is paired with a set of oversized Kenda tires measuring 20 by 4 inches. At your disposal, there is a 750-watt brushless gear hub motor delivering 59 pound-feet of peak torque. There are five levels of pedal assist, and depending on how often you will use the throttle, the expected range can reach over 45 miles before charge. Saunders is a company primarily known for producing affordable electric bicycles, but nowadays, they're setting ambitious goals and trying their luck in other EV market segments. The Mad Mods is one of their most recent electric bike frameworks that offer plenty of customization options. It comes with three available style kits that are reminiscent to the styling of classic cafe racer, retro, or scrambler motorcycles. You can start your customization process by picking a base style kit and then adjusting the type of seats, bars, headlights, and tires to your liking. In terms of specifications, all models come with a 750 watt motor, a 48 volt, 21 amp hour battery pack with Panasonic cells that can last from 40 miles of riding depending on the rider and weather conditions. The bike can be operated in an all electric mode with the help of a thumb throttle or by means of a pedal assist system with five levels of electric support. Moped-like e-bikes with fat tires and decent suspension systems have earned the reputation of perfect companions for tackling sandy, snowy, and mountainous terrains. Rhino is just a bike like that and is offered at the discounted price today. The base model features a 750-watt geared hub motor that supports a 7-level pedal assist and thumb throttle riding. Standard 48-volt 15.6 amp-hour battery unit has the range estimations between 30 and 60 miles. If you need to travel for up to 90 miles, a 21 amp hour battery is offered as an extra. The list of additional gear also includes a rear cargo rack, an electronic horn, and a fast charger. Other noteworthy features include aluminum fenders, front suspension, 1200 lumen headlights, two piston hydraulic brakes, extra long seat with a set of passenger foot pegs, and double wall punch out rims. The bike is also offered in the step through design, which is great news for those finding this frame type more convenient.
Monday was a fruitful year for Monday Motorbikes since the company introduced several new e-bike models to the market. Among them are the Anza and the Presidio siblings that are inspired by the brand's early efforts in EV development and are named after its first model and the Presidio Park in San Francisco, where they used to test it. The Anza gets a regular frame and the Presidio is a step-through model. Both ride on grippy, 20 by 4 inch tires, get full suspensions, and offer two drivetrain configurations. In the 500 watt one, they deliver 20 miles per hour speeds and cover 25 miles. And in the 750 watt one, the bikes are good for 40 miles and 28 miles per hour. Rad Runner Plus is the newest addition to the lineup of the America's Rad Power Bikes. Being a utility bike, this model has a low frame with a step-through design, a durable front suspension fork, a payload capacity of 300 pounds, and an adjustable seat that has room for two. If you're planning on taking a friend on a ride with you, there's an optional passenger package available. It comprises of an elevated seat, foot pegs, and a protective wheel skirt, ensuring your passenger can go through the trip safely and comfortably. The bike's 750-watt hub motor can work in a pedal assist or an all-electric mode. The five-level electric pedal support is handled by a seven-speed transmission. The all-electric mode is said to propel the two-wheeler all the way to 20 miles per hour. Depending on the riding mode, the installed 48-volt, 14-amp-hour lithium battery has an estimated range between 25 and 45 miles. Super 73 is an electric bicycle producer that has gotten popular for their moped style models. The retro-like looks, comfortable seats, and great performance has made this manufacturer extremely popular among e-bike riders. Despite producing only premium e-bikes up to date, they are now trying to capture a new segment of the market by introducing cheaper entry-level mopeds. The ZX model is using a light aluminum alloy frame that incorporates the 750 watt electric motor, a 615 watt hour battery pack and an elongated seat. This seat is said to have enough room for a rider and a passenger. In order to make the journey more pleasant for the passenger, the manufacturer offers optional foot pegs. In terms of power, Super 73 ZX is a class 2 electric bicycle. This means that the model has a pedal assist system as well as a throttle operated mode. It can propel the rider to the speeds of 20 miles per hour. Please note that in order to comply with the EPAC certification, in Europe this model will be sold with a pedal assist system only. The available battery pack is said to provide 30 miles of range in the throttle only mode and up to 50 miles of riding when pedals are engaged. Outsiders, vintage inspired model in the lineup of this manufacturer. This tough e bike has the look similar to Scrambler motorcycles of the past. The most prominent details include a large old school headlight and a tank with interchangeable covers. The Outsider bike rides on fat tires and has a sturdy front fork to let you feel comfortable on and off road. The lucky owner of this two wheeler will be taking advantage of the 500 watt geared brushless rear hub motor and 48 volt lithium ion battery, capable of providing 32 miles of electrified riding. The Scorpion X is the latest addition to the lineup of Juice Bikes, a manufacturer of premium electric bicycles. Just like other models with the Scorpion nameplate, this e-bike has the moped style design with a step-through frame and large puncture resistant tires. The bike's 750 watt geared hub motor can operate in two modes, all electric mode that is engaged by means of a twist throttle and a smart pedal assist mode. 
The new Scorpion X is equipped with a set of sensors that power an innovative torque and cadence pedal assist system and lets you pedal efficiently even at higher speeds. The motor draws its power from a large 52 volt 15 amp hour battery pack good for up to 55 miles of riding at speeds below 28 miles per hour. If you're looking for a bargain, the manufacturer is currently having sale of the previous generation Scorpion bike. It has slightly humbler specifications compared to the new Scorpion X, but it's still a great option by the industry standards. The model has a reliable 750 watt electric motor and a 52 volt 13 amp hour battery with up to 45 miles of range. The motor power will be fed through the 7-speed transmission and is to be supplied either by the pedal assist system or the twist throttle. Thanks for being with us today. We will be waiting for you in the comments section to discuss today's episode and hear you out about the future topics that should be reviewed on this channel. As mentioned before, support electric vehicles by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel. You can also check out the rest of our electric content by following the links on the screen.